So the whole reason we're doing this particular flavor is because years ago we used to have an open house where we would sh just show people how we made candy canes. And when we had the open house, I would always ask the kids, what flavor do you think we should do for candy canes in? Every single kid, like almost unanimously said watermelon. So we started doing watermelon, and now I don't know if we can even keep watermelon candy canes in stock the whole season, can we? No, not last year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. so this year we'll try. Yeah, so this year we're trying to keep them in stock, so. Uh, I don't think we can we ship these ones though, do we? The candy canes? No, your mom made a... Uh, no, uh, they're saying that you can order them, but they're they might break. be broke. Yeah, so, so... I mean, sometimes people have told us that they've gotten them and, and it worked, and sometimes they've been broke. So, so yeah. it's up to you. You, you gotta break the them dice. to eat them anyway, yeah. so... Three and a half. Three and a half what? Three and a half watermelons? Watermelons. Yeah, three and a half watermelons. Yeah, that'd be a pretty Ooh. sticky batch if you guys had to put watermelon in here. Three. Yeah. Okay. Your guys' most sticky batches are the ones where they require a lot of flavor, right? And they're like usually water-based, not oil-based. Okay. Woo! Look at the color. Bars just right. Oh, you gotta get it just right every time. Yeah. Just guess. Practice. Yeah. <laughs> and hope for the best. Yeah. Have you guys been wrong? Yeah. Occasionally. Never. Yeah. <laughs> you guys don't even know what it's like to be wrong, do you? <laughs> no, never. You never experienced that. Yeah, you guys haven't even added any color to this. Yeah, this watermelon is going to get uh, green stripe and a pink, pinkish body. Making it more red? Mm -hmm. Want it to turn pink. Pink? Isn't it already pink? It's going to be a uh, a little more pink because boy, if you pull it on the hook, that lightens it right up. Yeah. So what's what are the multiple purposes of pulling it? Putting air into the candy, aerating it, and making it turn more uh, lighter color. Does it cool it down faster? Yeah, it cools it down. Yep. It kind of changes the te texture too, a little, right? Yeah. Yeah. See. A little green and a little yellow. <laughs> How many drops is that? Three. Good, it's a little tiny one. I think like more than. I know it. That first drop is four. <laughs> It'll be okay. As long as the boss doesn't see, right? So, what does the yellow do mixing in with the green? It'll be. Um, a lighter green. Mm. And why do you guys do such a long shape? I don't think you guys used to do such a long shape. What, this? Yeah. Well, it's because the bars are that long. <laughs> but didn't you guys used to just like have these like much wider and they would just go like much flatter and thinner like a long time ago? No. Maybe in another galaxy? Maybe it seemed like it when you were little. Mm, <laughs> I don't think so, Dad. You know what? Mom would be the one to ask. Okay, ask her. 
Whoa, you threatening me? Yeah, really? see? Haha. Uh -huh. <laughs> really? We don't need to ask Terry. Here it is. Those are a lot farther apart. Yeah, That's look a at that. Oh, it's probably huh? a bit bigger batch. Oh, yeah. No, it looks about the same. So it's a bigger batch. Yeah, okay. He's yeah. <laughs> lying. If anything, actually, it might be candy. smaller. What's smaller? The amount of candy that you poured out. Look at, look at, watch the pour. Oh, that's probably huh. 40 pounds. Mm. Okay. Probably, probably 40 pounds already. each stripe, right? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Don't know. You're not wrong, though, are you, Dad? No. Interesting. Six years ago to... Well, not today, but six years ago. <laughs> December 27th, so almost six years ago. It's almost Christmas. Mom, did we ever used to pour the candy with uh, wider bars? Probably, yeah. At Heaton Street, we did. Yeah. You mean like that? So, yeah, because yeah. You, now you guys pour with like very narrow. Yeah, actually, you've got video of us pouring it with wider Daddy, bars. Scott yeah. had evidence. I pulled it up. Oh, yeah. What happened? Why, we, why the change? Uh, you'd have to ask the king. He said that it didn't exist. He never said that happened. that never happened. He said that we always yeah. did it that narrow. Uh -huh. He says lots of stuff. This is not the candy you're looking for. <laughs> She's a yeah, Jedi. So you, it doesn't work Yeah, so her. you pulled it up like the, for the very oldest videos, yes. like with the, the Maiden Voyage videos yep. in the basement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somewhere along the way, they, they slimmed it down. I don't even know why. I just, I just do what I do. Nobody pull. knows why. It got I lost just, in the annals of the videos. And uh huh. On the, the scrolls, the yes. tablets. Yeah, a the long, long the time tablets ago. tablets got broken. That was on a different planet. Yes. They got lost in the move. Dad just started walking towards the hook. He started, oh, sorry. He started ambushing the hook. <laughs> <laughs> we almost missed it because we're getting a very, we're all getting into a very heated discussion <laughs> about, about sleep. Yeah. Which I take very seriously. <laughs> Leah, I sleep better than that. that. Yeah, okay. I will have you know I got like an 83 last night. That's not good. <laughs> For me it is. 83? <laughs> yeah. For a sleep score. Well, and I got a 97 the night before. Well, I have to stay after school. Okay, that one's good. Well, it always says restless. I don't know how to fix that though. Rustler or restless? Restless. <laughs> I said, you slept long enough, but your sleep was restless. I was like, what do you want me to do? I don't know what you want me to do. You know, should I just tape myself down <laughs> when I'm sleeping? Yeah. Oh, I heard that if you get a pet, you sleep. I wake up in the morning and go, oh, already? <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty hard. Okay, what if someone's in particular about specifically about how women sleep better with a dog? Like, Leah's just trying to convince everyone to get a dog. Yeah, or cat. When are you gonna get a dog, Dad? Tomorrow. Never. <laughs> he can have mine. <laughs> wow. What if your dog is watching this video? Behave. Yeah. My baby needs <laughs> Poor little dog. Whose dog is poor? She heard that, didn't she? I don't think uh, I don't think Riley has a job. <laughs> yeah, she's bad. <laughs> I didn't know you had a wiener dog. Yeah, I have a miniature wiener dog. Maybe you should take it, Leah. You just got her? <laughs> yeah, like a month or two ago. <laughs> she needs another dog. Yeah, loves dogs in specific. She's almost two. Wow. She. <laughs> She's bad. <laughs> what color is she? She's black and 
brown. She looks like a Rottweiler in a miniature wiener dog. <laughs> She walks on three legs. <laughs> not four? No, she doesn't use her fourth one. <laughs> That's Why not? It's like energy. She prefers to walk on three legs. I don't know. <laughs> what does she do with the other one? She lifts it up. Is it just atrophied? No, she, sometimes she switches on and off, but she prefers to walk on Okay. Huh. That's a good one. That's interesting. Okay. I'll take a video. Oh, you yeah. did it. <laughs> Yeah, we got to see this dog in there. <laughs> She's insane. Doesn't this look like a giant bubble gum? Yeah, I like this one. And it kind of snaps and pops too sometimes. Yeah, this one's pretty. This one's not super snappy though. It's light and airy. Oh. Do you have a good workout on the hook? Yeah. Conserving your energy to pull them out? Okay, we got to go to do some time. Pretty sure. Yeah, I'll go. Those ones are. A lot of giggling going on here. I don't know. Is anyone doing any work in here? I don't know what's yeah. going on. I want you to know I made those stripes. Thanks, Scotty. Scott, you made the stripes? Than, uh, yeah. How'd you do it? In the last batch. Cut it in half. <laughs> Smooth them out. Wow. It's very pink, yeah. like bubble You put gloves on too? Nope. Bare hands. Okay. <laughs> Your hands would be, you'd have to run to the I have to in the ER right now. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> no, so there you go, Craig. All right. Take over. <laughs> there goes my hands too. <laughs> We're all just losing our hands today. I know. On this molten candy. Yeah, people will comment all the time that they say they want to eat it when it's in a liquid form, but no, you don't. that is literally the last thing you'll ever ingest in your life. You will be yeah. living by yeah, IV tube the rest yeah. of your life. Yeah. If that's the case. <laughs> you, you got a tracheotomy now, too. Yeah, that'd be awful. <laughs> so go ahead. <laughs> just don't sue us. We told you not to. 310 degrees is pretty hot. <laughs> The ugly candy could do tiny samples. That's true. If you want. You want I mean, some samples? You guys, you guys want some watermelon samples? You know. Yep. Boy. That was a tough crowd. Oh, yeah. Hey, if you guys ever break that candy press, you guys could just snip a whole batch, right? Yeah, 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 that'd be fun. <laughs> How long would that take? <laughs> Boy, your hand gives out. Now you can take turns. No, oh, you have to. <laughs> Let's get the stick technology. First ugly candy cane. Okay. So when we pull these candy canes out, it takes a lot longer than the hard candy, right? Yes, it does take almost twice as long. So what makes it take so long? Um, you have to pull them out the right size, the right length. So you have to pull them out next to the stick. Well, it slows you down. Like you said, we got stick technology, huh? This is a very advanced. Yeah. It was from um, the aliens who came down and blessed us with this technology. The ones, They're the ones who, came, who built the pyramids, yeah, the they also came out with this. Yeah. And people were doubting that our grandpa was the first person to ever make candy. Really? So, Everyone yeah, they, knows. Yeah, they didn't know that our he grandpa was, was, he was also, our, gran our great grandpa was also an ancient Egyptian who dealt with the aliens. <laughs> he yeah. helped He helped actually create this this very stick. This is the stick that came, came over on the boat from Greece he's after like, it was invented he's by He's thousands the, of years old. Yeah, so. If anyone thinks we're um, relying or not. We would never. No, we would never do that. We don't joke around either. Nope. Have you ever told a joke, Dad? No, never. Yeah, I didn't think so. Joke? What's a joke? I don't even know what it is. No joke. Yeah, don't forget about the stick that's going to do. And that's so that the stick won't move. So we got a... The what is that? Stick holder. We got a dough cutter technology. Stick holder. Stick holder. The stick holder, sorry. Not a dough cutter, it's a stick holder. That's good now. This is the aliens called it, right? That's, you know, you gotta think of these things. <laughs> yeah, they did. Steve thought of that. The candy 
genius. Um, I think people might actually have a question though about like why this is triangular and you're pulling out round kings. Because uh, I don't have time to make it round. Yeah, you'd have to have like another person kind of. If I had again. time to make it round, then it would be good. Because if you if you notice, this constantly starts melting down, and then you can walk away while it sort of loses its shape a little bit, and then you just flip it. I mean, I guess you could do it with like a, a square kind of shape, but you guys just always do it with a triangle. That's just how you were taught, right? Yeah. Yes. Well, I think I don't know how you can do it any other way. If you do it. If it's flat, it's going to be ribbon. Yeah, that's what that's the technique that the aliens came up with, right? <laughs> yeah. So we just, you know, we just learned from them. And What's that guy from was the National Geographic? The guy with the David crazy hair? No, 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 the young crazy. Oh. Aliens. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Aliens and the Andrianuses. I love those movies. They say you can't figure out how they did it. It had to be aliens. <laughs> Couldn't be that just really alien. Bad. Alien theorists say. <laughs> how, how does Sasquatch fit into that? Yeah, <laughs> he's got to be in the mix somewhere. Yeah, I know. It was just some guy, big guy living in the woods, and people kept calling him names. He's like, hey. He's like, Bigfoot. Why you call me Bigfoot? Everyone always asks where Bigfoot is, but they never ask how Bigfoot is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Hagrid living in the woods. Here's the umbrella. Oh, so I think we got some YouTube fans out there meeting mom. Um, <laughs> oh, she turned around too fast. Oh well. Did <laughs> you what? Uh, she waved and then I waved, but by the time I waved, she turned around, so. Oh. Okay. Oh. Got it faster. Yeah, so with the candy canes, you're making more of like a conscious effort to kind of twist them as you go, right? Yeah. Yes. First I hit him. Yeah. yeah. Yep. With a stick. Many, many times. Throw something at him. <laughs> Threaten him with the scissors. Mm-hmm. Got the scissors. Oh, those ones are just coming up. <laughs> We're making these at home. What sort of tips do you have for them? Um, I'll show you on the next one. I take the tallest tip side, use my thumbs to create like a circle slash hook, and then also I give it a little more spiral, twist it around, make sure it's really straight. It's like a J shape. Yeah, it's got from this side down. too. Yeah. Yeah, you have to really see your thumbs. So fast. Thumbs. Yeah, it really is. Wow. One more twisty. There you go. So we also have to have the point uh, pointing a certain direction because of the packaging. Right? Yeah, you don't want to poke through. Because if it's sticking up like that way or that way, it's more likely to po poke yeah. through the tube. So all the points have to be pointed in. Yeah, down way. here, down here. Yeah, if it's sticking up more, I'll, I'll push it down. Because then you just like, poke through the packaging. Yep. So there's a method for everything. And then this is, we just put them upside down like this inside of each other just so they fit better and yeah. then they're easier to move. And each candy cane, because they're not made, is going to be a little bit different. These ones look relatively similar, but as we go throughout the batch, it might get more pastel. The stripes might get bigger or smaller, just depending on how it's being twisted. Because as you can see over here, it's, uh, it's getting pretty twisted. You saw that, like, when Julia put them on, they were just completely, completely straight, but not so much anymore. So like I was saying earlier, a lot of the candy canes, because they're handmade, are going to look very different. So they had some pretty vibrant green going on over here. Started getting a little 
pastelli, especially as we start to get over here. These almost just look like pink with very hint, small hints of green. These ones had some pretty good contrast going. Got some more pastelli ones, and now we're getting to like a lot of green, just because the uh, the tail end kind of has a lot of the stripe. So it's kind of hard to control where exactly the colors go, right? Yeah, can't really. You get what you get. Yeah, you just try to pull it out and see what happens. Seven minutes to pull out that whole batch? To pull it out, yep. From wow. the first candy cane to the very last candy cane. Well, 46, 49, 50. <laughs> so, <laughs> point oh 0.03 seconds less than 47 minutes. So close. <laughs> World record right there. <laughs> Let's get a tutorial for everyone packing their candy canes at home. Yes. How do it? Well, the easiest way is to hold a bunch of your candy cane tubes in your left hand. If, I don't know how to translate if you're not right handed, I don't know what to tell you. Hold them in your left hand, pop the bottom in with your right hand and scooch it all the way down. And then after we get them all encased in cello, the next step is going to be seal and snip. I can show you the seal and snip if you so desire. I do desire that. Okay, let me, I'm gonna put these down. And grab my snippers. You can call them scissors. Steve, may I please have access to the, the heat sealer? Or you could do it. Either one. Is it on? Yes. I saw I did the tap test. Yeah, I'll hold it up against my face to make sure it's on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so all you really gotta do is seal it. Let the heat do the work. You have to press down real hard. And snip it. Wow. Uh -huh. right, let's see it from the other side again just so we can oh, really get the full effect. I don't know, Craig. It's pretty complicated. Let me let me read that tutorial again, make sure I'm doing it right. There's a lot of steps here. Okay. So melt it. Mm-hmm. And snip it. Deal melt and snip. Okay. Melt and snip. Hmm. Oops. That's how it's well, done. What happened? Did you do Steve? You snip and then melt? Oh, oh breakage. Oh. Broke it. Okay, one less bucket of beer for you, buddy. Oh, <laughs> oh wait, no, Kara's the one that pays the price, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. one less bucket of beer for her. Poor Kara, she's not going to get any beer. Mm -hmm. Oh, here she is. How are we going to break the news to her? You're not going to get any beer under your tree this year. No, no bucket of beer. You're dead. No, I already got my own. I grabbed it. Don't worry. Oh, okay. How's how's the Star Wars start out? A long, like, long time ago. Long, galaxy long. far, far away. That's it. Galaxy yeah. long. <laughs> in a far, far place. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's how it goes. And then forgets it again. <laughs> what do they say in Star Wars when they're saying that it's a far away place? Is there a back? I don't know. Long ago and far away? Light years ago? I don't know. <laughs> I saw Star Wars when I was 12. Steve, you remember it? The galaxy far away. The galaxy far away. Yeah, that's, that's it. Yep, nailed it. Just it. That's that's <laughs> all they say. Is that true? Is that true? I don't watch. I don't. No, Star Wars was made up. No. <laughs> it was. Yeah. You're Sorry. Lying. Sorry to burst your bubble. Okay. Wait. So, Craig, what is it actually? Uh, a long, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Okay. So you guys are very off. That's what I said. What is it? Long time ago. Far galaxy away. 